You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I am the lone messenger to the Acts 238 church. Get back to verse 36. That was established on the day of Pentecost. And people constantly.
Let us receive words from Prophet H. Walker. Again, I uh, spoke with the contractor this morning. Amen. And we still have that target date set Amen. for the last Sunday in August. Amen. Or before, or sooner. Amen. He told me, he said, don't worry. Amen. He said, I'm on it. All right. Amen. Brother Kenya, sacrifice. $60. Elder Ricky, $100. Brother Kenya again, $35. Elder Samaya, $40. Heavy envelope. Minister Thomas, $200. Heavy envelope. Elder Brooks, $170. Amen. Evangelist Brooks, offering. Amen. Marshall family just gave $1,400. They write back again with $60. Amen. Mr. Thomas gave $200. Write back again, $40. Now, now, $3. Amen. Amen. Daughter of Commerce for Atlanta, one dollar. Thank God for the sacrifice of his faithful. I want to uh, take note in a second epistle of John. Jump right into verse 10. Amen. Elder Willis, forty-two dollars. I think the other day he had he had given something like three hundred dollars. Amen. Right back again with $42. Yes. God is doing great things for great thing. the true life family. Yes. I said in uh, 2 John verse 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, <laughs> receive him not into your house, neither bid. Now, now this I is a commandment from God. Paul said, I marvel that you are so soon yes. removed from him who call you to the grace of Christ yes. to another gospel Yet there be not another gospel, but there be some that would trouble you and pervert the gospel of Christ. Now we're going to connect this again with the second epistle of John, showing you the, the, the agreement, the oneness of two apostles Amen. in the kingdom. Uh -huh. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God. Now your house is not only your home but the house or your holy temple, which is, according to uh, the Corinthian letter, is the house of God. So again, sanctification is important because it keeps the church in harmony with God. Uh, I got an email from someone last night, and they made mention about the great leader, uh, Bishop Hancock. Bishop Hancock was a great leader. But brothers and sisters, when pride begins to step in, Holy Ghost leaves. Amen. Bishop Hancock was the head of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the world. And he held that position for years unofficially. Now when it came down for a vote by the uh, bishops, area bishop, diocesan bishops, and the pastors, they voted Bishop Grimes of New York to be the senior uh, prelate or the uh, senior bishop. Bishop Hancock got so upset, he split the organization and left and began to teach that Jesus was not God. Now prior to, he was teaching that Jesus was God. But now because of pride, he split the PAW in half. One went uh, with Bishop Hancock, another group still maintained their uh, integrity of the Jesus-only faith. In Isaiah uh, 45 and 5, there is no mistake what God is saying to his church, his people. Read. I am the Lord and there is none else. Now Jeremiah 10 and 10 says the Lord is the true God. The Bible says Jesus is Lord of all. 
Again, when you're dealing with the capital L, you're dealing with the word, the Hebrew word Adonai. Adonai means Lord, and it was inserted because the people felt the awesome of using the name Jehovah. They, they were held in awe of it that they would not use that, that name. Amen. So they created this word in place of uh, Jehovah, which is Adonai, which literally means in English, Lord. Yes. Now, there's a difference between a lowercase Lord and a capital Praise letter Christ. Lord. Amen. So let's not get confused and try to uh, sideswipe somebody and say, yeah, but Sarah called Abraham Lord. Yes, but that was not uh, uh, the, the, the capital L. Amen. 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 So, again, when uh, you look at the 19th chapter of the book of Genesis, right. when the two angels came to set Lot and his family free, Amen. Lot called those two angels Lords. Sure Lowercase L. Amen. So, the, 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 the Bible is exact in its translation when properly translated by the Holy Ghost. And everyone that supposedly teaching the gospel does not have the Holy Ghost. Amen. So again, Bishop Hancock left the organization and began to teach that Jesus was the Son of God only. Isaiah 45 and 5 again. I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God besides me. I girded thee though thou hast not known me that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none besides me. I am the Lord and there is none else. Now give me Revelation 1 and 8 right quick. Okay. I am the Lord. There is no Trinity. Amen. There is no three of us. Amen. I am the Lord and there is none else. I asked the Trinitarian once, now you say there are three gods and they are co-equal and co-eternal according to the Nicene Creed that came out of uh, Nicene 325. I said, now, in Isaiah 45 and 5, it says, I am the Lord, there is none else. I said, which one of these three is speaking? He said, well, now you want to try to cause some confusion. I said, no, you are trying to cause the confusion. There is no confusion in the word of God. They never can answer that question. Nope. Nope. Which one of the three is speaking? Some will say, well, God the Father is speaking. What if God the Father is speaking? Who are the other two lords? Okay. He says, I am the Lord, there is none else. There's no God beside me. I, I Revelation 1 and 8. I am Alpha and Omega. Jesus speaking. The beginning and the ending. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. Said the Lord. Say who? The Lord. Read. Which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Is, is that a comma there? Commas. The Almighty. Amen. Sentence ain't finished yet. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. Comma. The Almighty. Amen. Ain't but one Almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The division in the church. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Amen. I'm going to hook these scriptures up. What I'm trying to do, Amen. YouTube viewers, I'm trying to let you know something. I am not just speaking and trying to connect something that sounds good or sounds controversial. I am telling you what thus saith the Lord by scripture. The division comes because people have too much pride and not enough humility to sit under the direction of one leader that God has for the church. Read. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you. Denominations comes from pride and pride alone. When people realize that God has one church and one leader over that church, then the people can come to a unity of one spirit and you'll see yokes broken, you'll see miracles performed, you will see people healed that are not being healed today. Amen. When there is division, divisions means denominations. Right. There is no such thing as interdenominational faith and we all should worship a, a fellowship with each other because we all worship the same God. That's not the truth. Amen. We're not worshiping the same God. Amen. And we're not all so-called Christian. Amen. We're not so-called born again. Amen. You're born again by the fruit of the Spirit. 
when the spirit bears witness of the spirit in heaven, then that spirit is truly a spirit of God. Amen. But when there is a division within the people, there is no harmony. And where there is no harmony and no unity, there is no God. Right, so we have to understand the importance of why we are separated and why we must remain separated and be glad about it. Amen. Let's not try to catch up with the Baptists. Let's not try to catch up with the Methodists. We are not Baptists. We are not Methodists. We are Jesus only, and we thank God for it. Bishop Hancock baptized Bishop Mason in Jesus' name. I spoke with the deacon who was underneath Bishop Jackson right there in Detroit over the uh, Bethlehem Temple Church, and he was there present when Bishop Hancock uh, baptized Bishop Mason, who was the prelate over the Church of God in Christ, Amen. in Jesus' name. Yet Bishop Mason taught the Trinity. Mm. Now when Bishop Hancock, and they were very close friends, when Amen. Bishop Hancock left Jesus only, he began to teach the Trinity. Mm. So they were of one accord, but yet divided. Bishop Hancock still maintained the baptism in Jesus' name. Well, now, if you say that Jesus is not God, why would you baptize in the name of Jesus? So the confusion rests with people Amen. who will not humble themselves and follow correct guidance. I am, give me a second chapter, verse 30. I am the lone messenger to the Acts 238 church. Get back to verse 36. That was established on the day of Pentecost. And people constantly questioned me. Yeah. Well, you, you, you say this because you, you're in a cult. What is a cult? One dictionary says any person who is fanatical yeah. enough to die for a religious belief. Amen. That would make Jesus a cult leader Amen. and the apostles cultists within that leadership. Amen. Because they all died for the religion they believed in. Amen. So if you call me a cult and that manner or that persuasion thank you Hallelujah. I appreciate the compliment Acts the second chapter verse 38 36 pardon me let, therefore let all the house of Israel know surely that God have made that same Jesus whom you have crucified both Lord and Christ God made himself Lord and Messiah he became incarnate in the body the human body now that had to die as a sacrifice for all humanity. Mary never gave birth to God. Amen. Mary gave birth to the human body that had the spirit of God. All right, Amen. 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 Hear me, hear me. The spirit of God came to him on the Mount of Transfiguration when the voice spoke, this is my beloved son on whom I am well pleased. That was a Holy Ghost speaking to a human vessel. Yes. Amen. He had to be human in order to die. All right. He was human when he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane and said, Father, take this cup from me. In other words, I'm in a human body. I don't want to go through the days ahead, the crucifixion or the torture, the beating. I don't want to go through it. But nevertheless, thy will be done. This was the human body. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. With the spirit of God. Amen. But brothers and sisters, when the human body died and had to die, if he hadn't have died, nobody here would be redeemed. Amen. So when the human body died, praise God, he stepped out of it, went back into his divine body and said, all power on earth and in heaven is now in my hand. Glory, hallelujah. Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into the heavens? That same Jesus. And they were there, praise God, at Bethany when he was getting ready to go back up on high. Amen. And they were lonely. What are we going to do? This is our God. He's going away from us. But he said in Matthew, 20, Matthew 28 chapter, he will send another comfort. He said in John 14 chapter, he will send, him, send another comfort that would be with us. Amen. The Holy Ghost that would be with us. He would send him. Amen. Another verse said the Father would send him. Right. 
But the next verse said, he would send, Jesus would send him. So Jesus and the Father got to be one and the same. And I believe he said that when he told Philip, when you see me, you see the Father. No confusion in the Bible. Again, the confusion is with humanity who will not submit to divine authority and divine guidance. Acts second chapter, I mean verse 36, ye men of Galilee, wife, uh, rather, uh, read that again. Therefore let all the house of, all the house of Israel, Israel know surely that God hath made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Yes. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we now, do? Now the rest of the apostles, there were apostles there, but notice they denoted the name of Peter because Peter was the head of the apostles. Amen. Paul hadn't come along yet now. Amen. Read. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. They asked Peter what to do to be saved. And Peter said, Repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, that's deep. Every one of you. Hallelujah. Not some of you, not most of you, but every one of you. In the name what? Of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins, and you shall. Hold your place and get me act. Uh, get me a uh, Luke twenty-four, and jump right in at verse forty-seven. Amen. Hallelujah. Repentance and remission of sin. Any time you are now water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you still have your sins that you were born into on you. And when you stand up for the judgment seat of God, the only way those sins can be remitted, you've got to be baptized again in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sin and then live a holy and sanctified life yeah. in this present world. Yeah. Read. And that repentance and remission of sins... Last teaching God gave. That repentance and remission of sins... Should be preached in His name among all nations. In His name. Yes. So when Peter baptized in His name... Peter fulfilled the instruction God gave him at Bethany. Right. Read. Among all nations beginning Everybody. At beginning where? At Jerusalem. Get me right back to Acts 2nd chapter. Amen. Jump right in at verse. Now you go into verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of Wait, the Holy Ghost. Wait, now you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, it didn't say we're going to take you in a corner Amen. and tell you how to say ha shalom uh -huh. <laughs> And it didn't take you, we take you to some upper room. Amen. Amen. And teach you how to speak in tongues. Amen. That ain't what he said. He said, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Any person who's saved, they got the Holy Ghost. Amen. I don't want to go in a, into all the somatics of tongue speaking because it's too complex and I will not teach on it. Amen. Other people who are less, who are ignorant and don't know what they're talking about, uh, they, they go about with something what somebody taught them. <laughs> They'll right. go into it. But let me tell you what Peter said. Amen. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost Amen. if you're baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. But the fruit of the Spirit is in righteousness yes. and love. Yes. You got to love one another as God has loved us. Now, when he said love ye one another, he was not speaking again to the world because he said, if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I want to bring you up to date concerning holiness. We are the holiness church. Amen. And I am the messenger God sent through the Acts 238 holiness church that was established on the day of Pentecost and we're not talking about Pentecost back over in the Old Testament Bible old foolish Baptists we're talking about that was established on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost came into the church so we are that church and all we have to do is keep our faith Keep our integrity and let's not have strife and division comes in amongst us. If you do that, it breaks down the unity of the spirit. And when the spirit is in, in a divisive, a divisiveness, then the unity of the power can't be concentrated 
to get a divine miracle that's going to be needed in these last and evil days. Amen. Now I want to say, uh, I want to leave this with you tonight when you go down in your knees in prayer. Let's say, remember the children. Amen. Amen. And let's remember those who are with child. Amen. Remember the children and those who are with child. Amen. And don't forget to say, Lord, remember Atlanta. Amen. Amen. That's right, Prophet. That's right. I thank God for his spirit tonight. I thank God for the truth. And I thank God for all of you who are willing to accept the truth and follow the truth. You know, when God said the word, he knew that the word would be a sword. It would cut out things that should not be there. If unrighteousness and the spirit of unbelief is not taken out, the spirit of God cannot enter in. So the word of God is a, it's a correction and all the person has to do is accept yes. the correction. Amen. And the Holy Ghost will do the rest. That's right. Amen. Amen. So I thank, uh, and again, I thank the YouTube viewers. Uh, we had a wonderful time in Savannah. They continue to be back with us in Atlanta, Georgia in August. We will let you know, keep, keep following us, and we'll let you know the exact time and date. Amen. Thank God for the word that went forward tonight. Thank God for the heavenly voices. Thank God for the prophet's name. I'm um, first giving honor to God who's head of my life. Double honor to Bishop Prophet Ace Walker. Mother Lady Lady Walker, the whole heart of this church. Giving honor to honor is due today. Um, let's give Prophet Ace Walker another hand for those wonderful words of encouragement. Um, the Bible says that God is spirit, and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Um, it also talks about that we should pray without ceasing about certain situations that go on. Um, I just want to go to uh, Second Timothy, um, second chapter, um, four verse it says, "No man that war and take himself with affairs this life, they may please him who had chosen them to be a soldier." Um, Prophet Ace Walker is um, the leader of Acts two thirty eight church, and um, he is somebody that has stand so many years trying to defend the uh, faith of this gospel um, a lot of people don't understand that they don't um, see um, the, the, the um, sacrifice and obedience that he put into um, trying to follow after God himself so as a church um, it's just best for us just to uh, be obedient to the word of God and um, do what we need to do as um, believers in the faith Love Talk Radio.